Final remarks will begin with you, Dr. Ehrman. Our ultimate question comes down to whether the Gospels are reliable or not. My view is that the Gospels have mistakes, discrepancies, contradictions, factual errors, textual alterations, additions, omissions, and corruptions in them. This is not a unique view of a particularly liberal professor who teaches at Chapel Hill. Uh, I know that I seem very liberal. When we were uh, talking about the format for this debate, I asked that I be given the podium on the left. <laughs> this view that I am setting forth, though, is not the view of just a liberal professor. It is virtually the consensus view among critical scholars across the United States and Europe. If you don't believe me, let me tell you a few striking facts that I don't think Craig will deny. This view that the New Testament Gospels contain discrepancies and errors is the view shared by the New Testament scholars who teach at all the major universities of this country. It is the view that is taught of every New Testament scholar who teaches at Ivy League schools, Harvard, Princeton, Yale, Brown, Columbia, Cornell, University of Pennsylvania. I know these people. It is the view of professors of New Testament at all the major state universities in this country. Where I live in the East, the University of Florida, Florida State, University of Georgia, all 14 of the universities in my state, North Carolina, University of Virginia, University of Maryland, Rutgers University. It's the view of every New Testament scholar who teaches at major universities in the Midwest, where you live. At the University of Texas, the University of Oklahoma, the University of Kansas, University of Nebraska, the University of Iowa, and so on. It is a view of professors at New of New Testament in every major divinity school connected with a great university in this country. Harvard, Yale, Duke, Vanderbilt, Emory, University of Chicago, as well as the mainline seminaries not connected with the university. Princeton Theological Seminary, Claremont, the Graduate Theological Union, and on and on and on. These are not my idiosyncratic views. These views are taught at virtually every institution of higher learning in the entire world that is not fundamentalist or evangelical Christian. Most of these people teaching these views are themselves Christian, but they don't have an evangelical assumption that the Bible is without mistake. The only ones who say otherwise are fundamentalists or conservative evangelical Christians. How can that be? Is everyone else, apart from evangelicals, not as intelligent? Are they blind? Are they demonically inspired? Everyone else? How is it that the only ones who think differently, the only ones who think that the Bible is completely reliable, are people who have a particular theological point of view that affirms that the Bible does not have mistakes in it? This is a theological view, not a historical view. And people are, of course, welcome to have it. But the people who have it should admit that when they say the Bible is reliable, they are saying so not on historical grounds for historical reasons. They are saying so because their theological views require them to say it. If they did not have these theological views, they would agree with everyone else, Christian and non-Christian, that the Bible does not provide a reliable account of the historical Jesus and of the history of the early Christian church. Let me tell you why I think it matters. Many good Bible-believing Christians think that the Bible provides a blueprint for faith and ethics, for how you should believe, what you should believe, and how you should live. Questions over such things as abortion, gun control, gay rights, that the Bible provides us the blueprint. The problem is the Bible is not a single book. The Bible is a lot of books written by a lot of different authors who have a lot of different points of view that disagree with one another. This means that we should not be dogmatic about what we think and insist that what we think is what the Bible teaches. The Bible teaches lots of different things. The Bible welcomes lots of different views, and we should too. I once thought that the Gospels were completely reliable. Now I no longer think so. It's not that I decided to jump on the scholarly bandwagon and abandon my evangelical faith. I looked long and hard at the evidence 
I studied it for years. I grappled with it. I prayed over it. I talked it over with friends and loved ones. And eventually I came to see the truth. The Bible does not provide a reliable account of the things Jesus said and did. I know most of you will not change your mind. But I hope you realize that people like me come to this question honestly and openly. Not trying to destroy the faith of others, but simply searching for the truth. I hope you too will be honest and open and not be afraid to go wherever the truth seems to lead. Thank you very much. Thank you.